How's it going, everybody? Thank you for coming back. I know it has been well over a month since we have uploaded to the channel, but today we got some pretty cool stuff. So before we get into unboxing the engine management for the 2JZ, I did want to kind of give you a heads up that we have some No Limit Garage merch going on right now. So we got hoodies, zip ups, long sleeves, short sleeves. Uh, we've got some toddler and youth stuff. Um, Richardson 112s, any color combination. Um, and if you order by December 18th, which is gonna be the cutoff, we did, we did one round of all of this stuff as a pre-order and did pretty good. And we had some people saying, hey, are you gonna do another one? Um, didn't get in in time, stuff like that. So we're gonna do one more and it's gonna end on Monday the 18th. I'm gonna be putting the order in that day. So if you order for this round of pre-order, it will not be in by Christmas time. So just keep that in mind. Um, it'll probably ship sometime first, second week of January. So with that said, if you order before Monday the 18th or on Monday the 18th, two orders will be getting a Stars and Stripes No Limit Garage hat thrown in for free just because. So if you want something, uh, email me, comment below, something, get a hold of me somehow. Um, ideally, message me on Facebook, um, something like that at No Limit Garage or Instagram. So if you want one of these possibly thrown in your order, or if you just want to order one, let me know. Uh, hoodies and long sleeves are 35, zip ups 45, t-shirts 25, Richardson 112s are 30. So $10 shipping, wherever you're at. So. Hit me up if you want something like that, and uh, maybe you'll get one of these. So, with merchandise out of the way, today's video is going to be all about this. We're going to unbox this little box right here. It doesn't look like much, but this was pretty expensive. Um, this is going to be the engine management for the 2JZ that is right behind the camera right now. Um, was going to use the stock computer. The stock computer is a naturally aspirated computer, so they are apparently good till about four or five pounds and then uh, not so good. Uh, definitely want to run more than that. So went ahead and splurged. Uh, just kind of want to do it right the first time and be able to drive this thing. So this is an EMU Black from ECU Masters. A lot of 2JZ guys running this so I've heard and everything I've seen on this is super super nice so user friendly lots of um, inputs and outputs to a degree uh, not quite as much as some of your bigger ones but plenty for what we're doing um, utilizes the VVTI bunch of other stuff so that's pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and slice into this and see what we got First things first, stickers. Everybody loves stickers. So we'll keep this off for a while. If it works well, we might go ahead and throw it on the car. Just because. Second thing, candy. Not a huge fan of airheads, but hey, you know, candy's candy. And I did get this on a Black Friday deal. However, their Black Friday deal for the EMU Black was a free plug and play for like an IS300 or, you know, another TJZ option car. Um, and obviously, I don't really want to do that because I'm going to take this harness and I'm going to pin it for this anyway because I might have to lengthen it, what have you. So I wasn't really interested in that plug-and-play harness, but they had another very, very cool feature that I would really like to utilize. So they went ahead and threw this in for me instead of the plug-and-play harness, and I will show you what that is right now. So the EMU Black has the capability to Bluetooth 
all of the canned stuff. So right there. Get that in there for you. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a little kit. It's got a little Bluetooth adapter. What I can do with that is the dash. I'm thinking about taking the cluster out completely and making a plate for behind there. I can put a tablet or anything Android based, I'm pretty sure, and download their app and that will Bluetooth right to the tablet so I can have a tablet as a dash. Whereas the Terminator, if I was gonna use the Terminator X, it would come with that little three and a half inch screen. I wasn't really all about that. I wanna, I wanna see it, you know? So Holly, if you go to like Pro Dash or something like that, expensive. So I can get a cheap tablet and Bluetooth it to it and it works really well. I'm all for it. So they threw that in for me, which is super cool. Let's see right there, CAN bus, CAN bus Bluetooth module. They apparently have very good support. Um, I actually talked to the president of the company um, to get this deal, so that was super cool. Yeah, this is it. Nice little, little box. We're going to go ahead and pull it out here and see what we're dealing with. Nice little tamper resistant deal on there. Go ahead and cut that open. Warranty card. So, two year warranty on sold customer goods. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. So it's got a warranty. And this is all that comes in right here. So this thing is absolutely tiny. Like, they, they tell you, I mean, that's my hand. I don't have huge hands. I mean, they're average. And that thing's pretty small. I mean, it's, there's my finger, there's my palm. It's tiny, guys. So that will go very, very nicely behind the glove box or in the glove box, somewhere of that sort. Super light. Uh, it's got one through hole. That's how they suggest that you mount it. So, boom done it's got these nice little um, push connectors right there you can see those if you're not familiar with these what they do is this tab pulls out just like that you slide it down on there you see these little pins here and then when you pull this down to seat it that will pull the connector in and seat it as it should so Got those two there. This here, this little nipple right here, that is an internal four bar map sensor. So I think it's like 43 or 46 pounds of boost that that thing can handle uh, without an external map. So that is super, super cool. Set this down here so I don't drop it. Got a, uh, we got a little mini to a USB. And then the USB for the computer, hook that up. They give you some blanks to put in the uh, connectors in the spots you don't use so no water and stuff gets in there. You got all your pins ready to go. You got some uh, resistors for the can side and stuff like that. They say that most of the time you don't use those, but if you need them, they're there. Micro USB port. It says be very careful. Please make sure it is properly fitted. Don't use too much force. Don't just jam it in there, man. I mean, be easy. Got some more stickers. Those are cool. Nifty. And then this, super, super cool. This is color coded, nice little legend here you got all the ends 
of both connectors. See, those are color coded there. Black connector, gray connector, all color coded on the these to these type thing. You know, pretty self-explanatory. How to read. You know, if you didn't go to school, it'll tell you how to read. Yeah, these are your uh, different wide bands. 4.2 versus the 4.9. I got a 4.9 ready for this, ready to go. And I got all this stuff for that. Um, and I think I got some knock sensor stuff for the two knock sensors. Um, the shielded wire and the upgraded knock sensors that were super cheap. So I got those. Uh, yeah, and then your main grounds, your main ignition and constant. And yeah, pretty cool, guys. I know it doesn't really seem like much. But uh, this is going to be, I think this is going to be a pretty big game changer for the future of this car. Because, I mean, we're going to be able to do so much with this. It's unreal. I mean, it'll do way more than I know how to do with it. That's for sure. So, that is basically... All I wanted to get out there on this video. I know it's kind of short. Nothing crazy. We still need to box that cross member. We've had so many things going on with the holidays and traveling. And I know it's not an excuse for YouTube, but it's life. What do you do? So that's it for the Chevelle. Um, this is a huge step. Once we get that boxed and painted and get the engine mounted for good with the new converter and the adapter it's gonna start rolling i mean really the only thing we have left is i need to figure out a larger set of injectors than factory and fuel system fuel pump and fuel lines i got most uh, i think i have some fuel lines i don't think i have everything but i have fuel line stuff i just need a pump and really this thing will be starting to flow pretty good um with that said Dad's Nova. It's getting there. We got dash lights for that. Got some green for him. Still got to get the seats mounted. Get the dash thrown in. And once those two things are done, the seats will come back out. And uh, sound deadening carpet will go in. Seats go back in. Interior will be pretty dang close. And then... Once all the interior is done, this, this stuff should go pretty quick. And then he's got some uh, new leaf springs. And I think he's got door panels and a steering wheel coming too. So that'd be pretty easy. But yeah, that's where we're at with this, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around. And to everyone who has bought merch already, we appreciate it. I mean, really, we do. Most, uh, I mean... That's that's because all of you guys. I mean, the Chevelle is moving forward because of you. So if you want to support the Chevelle build, what are some things? You know, I'd like to get some decals going pretty soon. And I think, I'm thinking going forward, 2024, we might do a different, different design. I like this one, but you gotta keep changing, gotta evolve. So we might do something different on that next year. But for now. Everybody likes this design. I think it's cool. Um, on the back, we actually have this design, but instead of this little guy here, it says uh, drag it in, drive it out. So that's pretty cool. That's what we do around here. And uh, yeah. Also, last thing, huge thank you to uh, Brendan. Stole his truck the other day. If you saw Instagram and Facebook, you saw that. The blue Chevelle is gone. So got that sold. That really helps a lot. Frees up some space. Uh, we'll get to moving forward again on the shop pretty soon. So thank you guys for watching as always. And uh, we'll see you sooner than later this time. How about that? See ya. the limit, it's just the beginning.